Psoriatic arthritis is the dean of rheumatic diseases, presenting with features like dactylitis, enthesitis, arthritis, and nail damage. It's classified into a group of autoimmune conditions, which I call the pear diseases. They're formally described as four types of seronegative spondyloarthropathies, and they include psoriatic arthritis, enteric arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, and reactive arthritis. All of these are associated with a specific gene called HLA-B27. Now, this big term can be broken down a little bit more. Seronegative means serum and negative, implying there's no detectable antibodies in the serum, specifically associated with this condition. And spondylo just means spine, while arthropathy just means joint disease, suggesting all these conditions can cause vertebral arthritis. Pathophysiologically, we think that genetically susceptible patients with skin psoriasis develop joint inflammation through a shared mechanism. They both seem to be driven by an aberrant immune response. And this inflammation is prominent in the synovium of involved joints, which is like the specialized connective tissue membrane that lines the inner surface of some joint capsules via cytokines like IL-17, progressive irritation makes the synovium become more vascular and eventually results in extensive bone remodeling. Its clinical features can resemble rheumatoid arthritis, especially when you just consider its peripheral joint manifestations. However, the unique combination of all of the Dean features is really indicative of psoriatic arthritis. D stands for dactylitis, which is just a fancy way of saying inflammation of the fingers or toes, making them swell up into a sausage shape. And this occurs in about 30% of patients. E stands for enthesitis, which is the inflammation of the enthesis, the point where a ligament or tendon attaches to the bone. This is kind of hard to pick up on a physical examination, but it's readily demonstrated on MRI or ultrasound. Again, it occurs in 30% of patients. A stands for arthritis. In general, this usually has a distal distribution affecting the small hand joints. However, it can occur in up to five different patterns. One, arthritis of the distal interphalangeal joints. Two, asymmetric oligoarthritis. Three, symmetric polyarthritis, which is similar to rheumatic arthritis. Four, axial involvement with the spine and sacroiliac joints, and five, arthritis mutilans, which is a highly destructive end-stage form of the disease. Finally, N stands for nail involvement, which occurs in almost all patients. Patterns include pitting, horizontal ridging, onchiolysis, which is just when the nail separates from the bed, and yellowing. Investigations and diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis is hard because there's no diagnostic lab test for it. HLA-B27 is found in 70% of patients with axial disease, but less than 20% with only peripheral disease. Imaging can help distinguish peripheral disease from rheumatoid arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis characteristically has dip involvement including the classic pencil-in-a-cup deformity. Additionally, enthesitis can be demonstrated on ultrasound and MRI. Diagnosis requires meeting the CASPAR criteria with three of the following five features. Psoriasis, nail involvement, a negative rheumatoid factor on bloods, dactylitis, and radiographic evidence of disease. Management requires a stepwise approach based on severity and response to treatment. All patients realistically should have help with lifestyle optimization, like exercise, smoking and alcohol cessation, and a good diet. Pharmacological measurements include NSAIDs like aspirin and intra-articular corticosteroid injections as first-line options. Conventional DMARDs like methotrexate can be used for progressive disease or polyarthritis. 
and biological DMARDs, that target tumor necrosis factor, can then be considered if conventional drugs are ineffective or poorly tolerated. Let's recap with some mnemonics. So psoriatic arthritis is a pear disease and it can cause DEAN symptoms, including dactylitis, enthesitis, arthritis, and nail damage. Thanks for watching Townsend Teachings.